right. Well, I purchased this grill to put here, which would look nice. This, this setup was the most, ah, I think they should give this a second thought, uh, additional thought. You know, this should have something whereas you don't have to, right now, this is all the directions it came with, right? But what you don't know, being like my truck, I got all this stuff in here. There's no way to do anything else. Nothing on the bottom to access it, to get in the back of here. You pretty much gotta put off your whole front end off. Pull the grill off and everything else to be able to get back here to put your hands down to tighten up the bolts back here. And in order for that, <laughs> wow, wow, wow. This should have been to the point. I mean, I had one on my infinity and pretty much when I did like this here, you screw in from here and it twisted and it tightened everything up, you know, but I understand it probably trying to get it for someone not to steal the thing, but I don't think I'm gonna sit down there and remove my whole front end again, just to get down here to put these bolts because everything is screwed in in the back. You know, they got these braces here that goes back here. But in order to tighten up these bolts, focus, in order to tighten up these in the back of here, your hands gotta be inside of here by the back. There's no way you gotta pull up your whole front end in order to get some type of access through here so keep in mind if you're planning on getting this grill it looks nice but i tell you what i'm not gonna go do this me personally sorry this damn thing gonna have to get get some black, black screws right here right here right here and right here and call it a day I'd be damned if I gotta take all this off. I mean, yes, it's gonna look nice, but it was not easy taking this whole thing off to put this grill in. Now I gotta go to take this clip off. This whole piece gotta come off. A whole bunch of bolts, all this other stuff gotta unplug, this and that. Now, I think it's not gonna look that bad when I put in the, uh, when I do put in the, uh, the screws on it also an update on the uh lift um i'm not sure if i said it before um the lift when you're by a lift let's just say you're getting a six inch lift i'm gonna speak on the six that i have when you put in the six inch lift they pretty much give you a five inch um a five inch uh block um with that said when you put that on you're gonna have a rake it's still gonna be high in the back Actually, I had a three and a half in the back, and um, that had it, uh, I think is like half inch drop to the back. And I just turned around and I put in a two and a half inch, which I think I went too low. I should have went um, a three inch, but it's like almost a two inch drop. Looks nice because it sags. Uh, not a whole heavy sack, but at the front to the back, um, it's like almost a two inch difference between going with a two and a half inch, uh, going with a two and a half inch block. So this block here, this is a three inch. Uh, I think it's three. Where's my tape measure? Hold on. Let me get it right. If I'm gonna give some information, let me get it right. I don't want to think. Got a tape measure right here. Sorry about all that. I'm just trying to. All right, there we go. Right now, it's three and a quarter actually. Three and a quarter. And what I got, I got a two and a half. That's what I just put in there right now. With a two and a half, you're gonna have. Uh, Pretty much almost a two and a half inch different from the front to the back 
but if you put like I did that three and a quarter you're gonna have like an inch drop to the back all right so there's an update anyways I know this video was about this uh, I just had to throw that in there because I just remembered about it so other than that hope this helps I'll uh, do another video when it's done but uh, for now I'm not gonna take off this whole front end again nah too much work